10.30. I woke up around 9-ish, a little bit before 9. I just finished doing my makeup and doing my hair, and I need to pick an outfit still. I honestly, I don't really know what I want to wear because I work at 2 today, so I'm just going to have to change into my work clothes later. So I don't know what to wear now. Today I'm just going to be romanticizing my breakfast. I don't know what I'm calling this video yet, but I just wanted to do something for myself in the morning that actually makes me want to get out of bed. I've been struggling so much to get up early, and I don't know why. I feel like I just need something to get me out of bed in the mornings and if it's breakfast then so be it. I found this recipe for strawberry cheese danishes and they looked really good but I don't have the ingredients for them so I'm gonna walk to Trader Joe's and grab some of the stuff that I need for it and then I'm gonna make it and then that's all. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. My ideal morning routine would be to wake up at like 7 or 8 every single morning, have breakfast, drink coffee or tea or matcha or whatever. I would love to do like a workout and then shower, get ready, do my homework. I just want to have productive mornings and I feel like I have yet to find something that actually gets me out of bed in the morning. I don't know, okay? I'm out of video ideas. Anyways, I found this recipe on Pinterest from the recipe critic. I don't know if the ones that I'm gonna make are gonna look this good. The recipe calls for puff pastry, which I couldn't find at Trader Joe's. I kind of think that's just a seasonal item. I planned to make these like months ago, so I bought crescent rolls, I think. But I don't think Trader Joe's has puff pastry, so I'm just gonna work with those, the crescent rolls, and see how well that works. I just need to go and get strawberries and cream cheese. Honestly, I'm just gonna go with my default outfit. I feel like whenever I don't actually wanna pick an outfit, the overalls, the overalls are, I don't know where I was going with that. What am I trying to say? I feel like whenever I don't actually wanna pick out an outfit, I'll just wear overalls. I usually wear these, and then I have this off the shoulder black long sleeve from Brandy Melville, and this is just the easiest outfit to wear. It requires no thoughts, and that's it. It's just easy to wear, and I have to change soon anyways, so. All right. This is the outfit for the Trader Joe's run. These overalls are Carhartt. I got them at the Carhartt store in Idaho, and then this black long sleeve is from Brandy, and then I just have Doc Martin boots. That's the best outfit you're getting out of me today. Little Trader Joe's haul for you. This is also just my favorite bag in the world to take grocery shopping. It's so cute. It's for my management. First, we needed the essentials for breakfast. I got cream cheese. I actually got more crescent rolls because the ones that I had in my fridge before expired and I didn't know that they expired. So I had to buy new ones. And then I also got strawberries. Those are all the breakfast essentials. And then I picked up some other stuff too just because I saw it and I felt like it. So I grabbed these two grapefruits. I haven't had a grapefruit in a while but I thought some grapefruit for breakfast might be nice as well some chicken but that's for dinner tonight so that's that's irrelevant right now and then the last thing I got I got a juice shot I got this pineapple probiotic juice shot this one is actually good I, I enjoy drinking this one it has coconut water pineapple lemon and ginger juices start off breakfast by taking a shot this one is so good. Anyways, so the point of me making breakfast this morning, like making something extravagant, the point of that was to get me out of bed earlier. It's 11.06, so not the ideal time that I wanted it to be, but also I did a lot this morning. I, I showered, I fed the cats, I did my makeup, I did my hair, I walked to Trader Joe's. I feel like I'm making decent time. I don't know, I just need something that is going to get me out of bed in the mornings, and strawberry cheese danishes is that solution for me today. So the cream cheese has to be softened. Honestly, it feels pretty soft already. I was gonna go sit in front of my heater with it, but honestly, I think it's I think it's okay. Let me pull up the recipe. So the ingredients for this recipe, I need cream cheese, sugar, an egg yolk, puff pastry, um, but we will be substituting that for crescent rolls. Hopefully that doesn't mess up the entire recipe. I think it should be fine. One egg white, I need water, strawberries, and strawberry jam. I don't have straw, actually, Okay, cool. So I have raspberry jam and strawberry jam. So whatever my preference is. The first step in this recipe is to preheat the oven to 400 degrees and then line two baking sheets with parchment paper. Although I think I'm just gonna do one. I'll probably end up halving the recipe just because it's just me eating these. And this recipe also says to eat them within six to eight hours. I'm probably just gonna make enough for myself. Okay, now we have to wait 14 minutes for the oven to preheat. But I will line a baking sheet with parchment paper. 
Okay, now the next step. Beat the cream cheese, sugar, and egg yolk with an electric mixer until smooth. I can do that. I'm really hoping that this cream cheese is softened enough. I don't know what'll happen if it's not. I feel like I could probably freeze these if I wanted to make the whole recipe. I just added four ounces of cream cheese and three tablespoons of sugar. And now I have to separate the egg yolk and the egg white, which is something that I don't have much practice in, but I think I can do it. I have the egg yolk. Now the next step is to just mix all of that together with an electric mixer. Oh, there's a spider in here, dude. What the, why? Oh, that's wrong. Let's move you this way. Sorry, this is a bad angle. I don't really know where else to put you. I think the cream cheese was perfectly softened. It's not really clumpy, and usually that's what'll happen if the cream cheese isn't soft enough, but it looks fine to me. The next step is to roll out the puff pastry dough into a square, and then divide cream cheese mixture between eight pieces of puff pastry. So since I don't have puff pastry, oh, well this bakes eight of them, so that's actually perfect. The oven's ready. This makes eight of them, so I think they're already like, I don't know, I'm just gonna open this and figure out how I'm gonna do this. All right. So I'm gonna make this into eight little rectangles, if I can. I literally have no idea what I'm doing, because with these, you're supposed to roll them up into a crescent. But I mean, I think I can just kind of make them into rectangles. I don't really know. I don't really know what I'm doing. I have all my little guides done. They're not very rectangular. I tried to do a couple hearts and the rest are kind of just circles. I also realized after I did all of these that I probably should have just kept the same shape, like the crescent roll shape and filled them with the cream cheese. And I feel like that would have turned out better, but it's too late now. So I'm just gonna have hope that these turn out good. I also turned down the heat on the oven because the crescent roll packaging says to bake it at 375 for 10 minutes. So I figured that 400 for 15 minutes was gonna be a little bit too intense. And the last step before I put them into the oven, I have to beat the egg white and water and then brush that around the around the edges of the, of the pastry. And then we bake them for 15 minutes, but I'm gonna put them in for 10 just in case because they're small too i'm just gonna wing it from here and hope that they turn out okay we have the egg whites and then i think it's just like a tablespoon of water yeah a tablespoon of water that i mix into here I almost forgot that I wanted to make almond milk as well. I made my own almond milk the other week and it was honestly really good, so I wanted to do it again. I've had these almonds sitting in here overnight. The last time I made almond milk, I left the almonds in the water for like three days on accident because I just kept forgetting about it. Let me show you the step-by-step -step process. And then I'm just gonna rinse these out in a strainer. Why is the vein in my arm so... We're gonna need a blender. And you're gonna wanna add all the almonds to the blender. I just spilled so much water on the ground doing that. Depending on how much almond milk you want is how much water you add, I think. I don't know if the ratio to almonds and water is always the same, but from the recipe that I saw when I made it before, it was three cups of water, no. I think the recipe that I saw was four cups of water per one cup of almonds, but I did I'm gonna leave them in there for like two more minutes just so they get a little bit like brown. Anyways, I'm gonna add three cups of water to mine. All right, so they're out of the oven. They definitely did not hold their shape. Only one of them looks like a heart, but that's okay. Back to the almond milk. You're gonna need a bowl. Also, sorry, my water filter is making noises. You're gonna need a cheesecloth. I told Seb a couple weeks ago that I wanted to make almond milk and that I didn't have a cheesecloth and he bought me this so that I can make almond milk. 
And if that's not the sweetest thing you ever heard, then I don't know what is. I just line the bowl with the cheesecloth and then I'm gonna pour everything from the blender on top of this. I'm gonna need to switch the angle, but basically you're gonna take the cheesecloth and then just squish everything out of it. All right, the almond milk is all done. I also added some vanilla extract in it just to sweeten it a little bit. I don't know if it's good, I'll try it. Very almond, like really almond. I feel like it didn't taste as much like almond last time I made it, but I mean, it's good. I'm just gonna put this in the fridge for a little bit so I can make a coffee. These guys are cooling down. I still need to cut up strawberries for them. Oh, and the jam too, I forgot about that. I think I'm just gonna do a tiny bit on the top of it. Can you see what I'm doing? I don't know. Okay, I'm actually just going to do three of them with jam because I forgot that I will probably need to freeze these because I think eating all eight of them would not be the best move before I work today. I'm usually not the biggest fan of grapefruit, but the sign at Trader Joe's said that this one was sweet and grapefruit is usually not sweet, so I'm excited to try this. them all done. I'm gonna make a coffee really quick before I try them. I'm gonna use a Chamberlain coffee. This is the fluffy lamb vanilla blend. And then I'm gonna use a tiny little bit of hazelnut syrup because I barely have any left. And some almond milk. I made almond milk ice cubes also. So then my coffee doesn't get watered down. Except they're really, really hard to get out of here. Finally time to eat, it is 12.30. My original plan was to make this and have everything done by like 9 a.m. Clearly that did not happen. I'm starving though and I'm so excited to eat. We have grapefruit and we have four of the strawberry cheese danishes. I don't know if I should eat four. And then I also have my coffee. I haven't tried it yet. It's so almond, but no complaints, honestly, it's really good. This is what they look like. They're not as sweet as I was expecting them to be. And crescent rolls kind of have like a savory taste. And that's kind of what I'm getting with this. I'm going to be so honest. I cannot taste the cream cheese at all. It just tastes like a crescent roll with strawberries on it. The grapefruit does not smell sweet. It's not sweet. So sour. Final thoughts. Was this worth my time and effort? No. Are they good? Kind of, but would I wake up early to make breakfast again? Yes. I feel like this gave me purpose today. I've learned that I should not use crescent rolls for cheese danishes in the future. Overall, it was a fun experience. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me make these. If you are still watching, comment this emoji and let me know if I should try to make something else for breakfast. I don't really know what this video was, but I hope you enjoyed it. Okay, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.